Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 6 of Age of Wonders Planetfall. There has been a patch, an update to this game since I last played. Uh, I guess this is the post-release patch. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what, if anything, it has uh, changed. But uh, I guess we will find out. So I do recall that I do want to start another colony. The problem with only having a single colony is because you only have a single production queue. You do get a little bit backed up when you're trying to produce armies. Uh, I've obviously reloaded the game since I made the last video because we'd already clicked on this before. So I'm just going to go and skip that. We need to um, queue up the new research, actually. Uh, which we're already working on. It just, so it just gave me the notification again. That's fine. Uh, you guys, give you orders. Now I can try and clear some of these out. That would give us... That's a resource node. Um, that's a crashed ship. Let's go ahead and clear that out. A um, couple of flyers there, and we're not at full health. I will manual combat this one, just because I don't want to lose any units if I can avoid it. Obviously, we've got our own flyers, so that does help somewhat. They are going to move towards us, so that's fine. I like how this is obviously supposed to be a crashed ship, and there is clearly a crashed ship here. You can see it in pieces. That, that's quite, quite cool. Um, let's start moving forwards with some of these units. We will probably just sort of put them onto guard mode. Uh, we don't have an awful lot of choice about it, really. Let's, yeah, let's just move everybody forwards. We do have some ability to attack, but probably not from this distance. And then we'll put the flyers over them. We should get the swarm uh, bonus here. Not just sure what we're going to do with these grasshopper things. I don't really mind if I lose them. They're not ultra important. But let's go ahead and put them in a position where we can probably strike on the next turn if we need to. So we'll end the turn. Let the enemy move towards us. A lot of them moving in. A lot of them moving in but no real attacks going on. We are a little bit stuck for range. So you have the ability to air leap. Oh, you can leap on something in the air. Well, let's do that then. So we attack that air unit. And let's do this. Let's see, I've got the frenzied selected. I don't want to select the frenzied. I want the air unit selected. Still selecting the frenzied. This is the issue that I was having the other day. Is how do you select an air unit that is in that tile? Um, does tabbing switch between units? Next unit is N. There we go. So I just can't click on them. That's very weird. You are on Overwatch, but do you know what? I don't think that's much of a problem. Oh, we grazed, so we trigger the Overwatch. That is a problem. Uh, let's go and attack the same one. Try and at least eliminate one of them if we can. Another graze, but its overwatch has already been removed. Let's go ahead and see if we can... You're too far away to do that, aren't you? Let's move you forwards one. And then we will use the ambush leap. That knocks you back. Doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately. Can't hit you. Uh, we can stagger you. We'll do it from this side because I want to attack it from sort of, you know, behind and not get um, caught out with a retaliation. We can stagger it again. Uh, I'm not going to bother using one of our um, special operations. I don't think we need to. Cleansing Pulse isn't really needed. Healing Surge would be good. We really don't have the energy, so let's just save them up. That's going to trigger Overwatch because it was a graze. Oh, we might lose that unit there. Yep. We've, we've lost the little... Um, the little pustule thing, but I don't think that's such a big issue. Uh, let's go and finish you off. 
Really surprised that wasn't enough to kill it, to be honest. Enemy down. There we go. We've just got one unit remaining, so we can do the flying leap with you. And then you guys are just going to straight up attack, I think. It does have melee overwatch, Enemy but down. we did more than enough damage. We'll let this army sit around. The hive have been defeated. We'll let this army sit around and recover a little bit. Because we did lose a unit there. But we got ourselves some research. That has now finished our production development. There's a way to do anything. There's also a smarter way to do anything. Trade secrets are often more about a well-trained workforce than a secret sauce. Tony Rubio Strong. Manpower and Machine Motivational Consulting. So, we've unlocked all four of these now. We could go into area events. We haven't really got any operations unlocked. Let's go and start doing these. We might as well go and fill that in. You guys are just going to stay here and heal up. And move on to the next turn. One thing that I'm interested to find out is where I actually gain this from. Uh, the rare mineral originates beyond the void and it's required for advanced units and unit modules. So I get five from the colony. So obviously we need another colony. I can't build a colonist yet. They're quite expensive. Um, Operations available for priming. Just got to stop clicking on random stuff. This is what I need. Uh, colonizer. Yeah, requires 30 of that stuff. So we're just going to have to wait at this point. So we've got this army up here. We have got a teleporter. Uh, looks like we were coming back down here for some reason. Any particular reason? Not that I could tell. This was our small army. Oh, this is the army that's supposed to be defending. No, this is the army with the other leader. So we want to get this army built up. We were bringing it back because it's a very small army. Um, we're going to... What are we doing with you? You're a flying unit. You can come and rejoin that, actually. as You were in that unit originally, but then we got the Grasshopper, so you're back up to six. So you should really be our defending army, but that's fine. I'm just going to sit there. This is our main army. We were clearing stuff out over here. We could go and clear these guys out, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to uh, auto-combat that. And as expected, we didn't lose anything. We did gain one of these pustules. Not that useful for us, but you can go over there and meet up with that army, I suppose. Uh, could we ask these guys to vacate this area? We'll, we'll check. We'll see if it's possible for us to do that. Uh, area surveillance. If you want to improve your capabilities, you don't just set a goal. You must also monitor it. Only by carefully watching your progression, guarding against backsliding, can you achieve solid success. Tony Rubio Strong, Manpower and Machine Motivational Consulting. So that gives us a strategic operation, which is sustained. A monitoring station appears on the targeted hex. The station provides the deploying player with vision of the six hexes and sensor coverage of 12 hexes. The station is concealed and can only be detected by other players with detection. Or if they move adjacent to it. Monitoring stations are not marked as belonging to a particular player. And can be destroyed by players without triggering a war. So that's cool. So we can just basically put a random monitoring station down on the map. And, and keep track of things that are moving near it. I don't think we need to do that right now. Given the fact that we... Um, uh, given the fact that we don't actually have any other civilizations nearby. We only have two strategic operation points and it requires four, so it's not that useful for us. Native Threat Locator reveals the location of the nearest unexplored hostile spawner and a global bonus. It's an Empire upgrade. Unlocks capability rankings shown in the Empire Tasks interface. Capability is, a visible, is, the, is visible for your Empire and its allies. Let's select a new research. Energy Siphon and Fabricate Cassius Belli. That's probably going to be useful, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so where are those objectives things? Is it here somewhere? Oh, I'm not sure where that is. Okay, that's fine. We will carry on. Production ready. So we're 
Do we want to build something else? We can go ahead and just get some normal frenzied. Let's queue up a normal frenzied. I'd like to get... Oh, we've already got some queued up, haven't we? There's two there. Let's get a normal hidden as well. Don't want to do the gifted hidden because I don't really want to be spending the... Um, the Cosmite. I do want to sort of hang on to that for the time being so we can get our colonizer. So the operator... Um, we, what does he do? Research. Oh, this is the, um, objectives. Operation effectiveness, one skill. Use a strategic operation. Use a covert operation. Use a doctrine operation. Gives us the operator. A coordinated cross-governmental operational command can see massive savings on deployment of agents and other assets. Convert, covert and strategic operations now cost 25% less energy. That'll be quite good. So we need to use one of each of these. We don't need to do that right now, so we won't. We'll end the turn. A couple more turns, we'll be able to get our colonizer. Message from the growth faction. You've got a quest for us. You want us to destroy a quartz nest. We can indeed do that. It's a long way over there, actually. We'll have to go and do that with our main army. Can we ask you to move out of there? Seek to trade with you... Oh, we can actually get units from them. That's quite cool, actually. That we can buy units from them, depending on what our um, friendship is. I like that. Okay, this main army is going to start moving up towards that um, point on the map. Take us a little while to get there, but we will do it. Uh... Confirm movement. Yep, you're going to head over there along with this guy. At least until we get some better units in that army. Some of these... This is a little bit of an eclectic army. We'll definitely have to do some rebalancing. You need orders. You've almost fully recovered, actually. So I'm tempted to go and clear this. Uh, I'm going to just take a gamble here in auto combat. We survived it all, so that's fine. Gained some production. Brilliant. And again, we'll just sit around and recover. What do I want to do with you? Guess we'll just leave you here, sort of in the middle. We've got some new units coming. You can sit there. We've produced our export center. Let's end the turn. We've also now produced a uh, one of these guys, so you can go and join that army. Uh, dispersion. Pods are a convenient way to carry chemicals to untouched areas. The only downside to the delivery mechanism is that children tend to ingest them. Dr. Q. Tolwark, Xenocorp Innovation Team Lead. Okay then, so we've got Plague Pods that are a mod. Um, single uh, single action, throw Plague Pods at the target, dealing biochemical damage in a 1 hex radius. See no Plague units in that area are instead healed for 8 vigor. Uh, high impact, it staggers units. It causes 200% additional damage to obstacles and can destroy fortified obstacles. And it's got an 8 strength chance to apply parasitic infection. It ignores line of sight penalties. And we have Drop Spore Pod. This is a tactical operation, so this happens in combat. Launches a Spore Pod into tactical combat that bursts on impact with the ground, and the pod deals 15 biological damage in a 1 hex radius area of effect with high impact. The Spore Pod leaves behind a bloated pustule. The unit is destroyed at the end of combat. So let's select a new research. Uh, we've got the Engulfer cast. This gives us some more units here. It gives us the... Um, pop-up works. Uh, it gives us the Engulfer, which is a heavy unit, a biological heavy unit. It's a gunk thrower with caustic smoke. And it also gives us the uh, this one as well. This is a vehicle. So it's a flying unit that we can also use as a vehicle. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and work on that. Sure. We might be able to give a vehicle to our um, hero that he can actually use and still fire from. That'd be quite, quite cool. Uh, covert infiltration. Everyone needs an excuse to do what they wanted all along. 
They have stuff that we want. Who decided they get to keep it just because they got there first? Zerera Tan of House Wayan, diplomatic consort. So we've got energy siphon. Collect 50% of the targeted player's total energy income over a fixed number of turns. The, uh, the It'll transfer once the operation has run for five turns. And fabricate Cassius Belli. Use stolen data and forgery to fabricate a Cassius Belli, justifying a war against this player. Only once, only one fabricated CB may be active on a player at once. On failure, a minor Cassius Belli will still be applied. Excellent. So, do we go into Operation Effect? Right, is there anything in Aquatic Development that we need? Bases on water is not needed. Um... Units embarking on water is not needed. Units crossing rivers. That's actually not bad, being able to cross rivers. It's an empire upgrade. Yeah, we probably want to get that because we do take penalties crossing rivers, which aren't great. Uh, so you guys have finished that. You have taken some damage. Let's just s sit around for a while. You've got some movement left. So, of course, crossing a river again uses up quite a lot of our movement. Of course, flying units don't have those problems. Do we want to do any exploration with you? I know you're not a full stack yet, but we can have a look around over here and maybe clear something out. Protection ready. You're not quite ready yet. What do we need for this one? 100 energy. Still going to take a few turns before we can do it. So we need to start um, attacking things because we, we need to actually get some uh, some energy if we can. Ops are ready to prime. So some of these require influence. Some of them require energy. Uh, they all have a cost of um, strategic operation points. So, it'll take a few turns for them to prime, depending on how many of those points we have in the bank, I suppose. Strategic operation points are used to launch operations on the world map. Strategic operations include unit summons, sector bonuses and penalties, and covert actions. Your strategic operations points are reset each turn on the world map. I don't think there's any that I want to do. I certainly don't want to use any energy. No, I think we're okay for now. Let's move over here with this army. Uh, we're not going to do anything with this. Uh, this is Imperial Standard Pickup. That is Imperial Energy Stash. Let's head towards that and just grab it. It's not actually guarded right now. Do we have anything down here that we can grab? Not really. We've used our movement crossing the river anyway. Uh, let's get you over here. Almost there. Spotted some other units. Let's end the turn again. Now we have aquatic deployment. The sea is a maiden of many moods, most of them murderous. Captain Peter Visser, Salty Bay Colony. Now these say these are Empire upgrades, so I'm guessing we probably don't have to do anything with them. I don't think. Uh, let, what do we want to go into next? Aquatic development is probably a bit useless. Um, anthropological research. Extra influence. Research upgrades. Environmental conditioning. Remove hazards from the world map using special operations. River exploitation. Colonies with a river going through their domain generate 10 food income. That's got to be useful. Let's grab that. Orders required, so you're going to go and take the energy. Now, there is a thing here, look, Shroud Generator. If we select the, um, does it not tell us what that is? There's a Shroud Generator there. It's not telling me what that does. 
that is the shroud generator itself. Army power 490. Ours is 610. Maybe that's risking it a little bit. I think I'll I'll leave that alone. We'll come back with a with a stronger army. Uh, is that more energy down there? Is it unguarded? It is unguarded. Uh, we now have enough energy. Oh right, we can finally queue up that. Um, you need to join up with that army, don't you? Let's get you up there. But we can now work on the colonizer. So let's produce that. Uh, we're already working on this hidden, so we... I'm actually going to cancel the hidden. Uh, we'll refund the energy and cosmite, or colonists that you have spent. The production has been spent, will be permanently lost. Uh, we're halfway through doing it, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste the production. We'll still get it anyway. You're going to move up here. And these mountains... I think you can get through these mountains, actually. It might just be a little bit of a pain. We will end the turn. Got some movement going on. And we are back to orders required. Uh, let's leave that guy up there, actually. He's in no immediate danger. Uh, what is that Imperial Standard? And what is that Army Strength? That Army Strength is 480 to R710. We'll go over there and deal with that, and then we'll move back over here. But we will do that on the next video, because we are over the 20-minute mark. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Age of Wonders Planetfall. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.